The new Asus ROG Ally is an impressive handheld PC. It is similar in a lot of ways to the popular Valve Steam Deck, but quite a bit different in others. Aside from being able to play many of your favorite PC and emulated games, it can also operate as the main computer to power a virtual pinball cabinet such as the At Games Legends pinball machine. In this video, we'll discuss what you will need to get started, how to set up the hardware and software, as well as show gameplay examples of the ROG Ally playing Pinball FX on a virtual pinball cabinet. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. One of the first things you'll need, of course, is the ROG Ally. You'll create an account on Steam, if you don't already have one, then download and install Pinball FX. To connect the Ally to the Legends Pinball, you will need a dock that supports two HDMI ports. This 9-in-1 dock has worked out well, with one caveat, which I'll point out in just a moment. But it has two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, gigabit ethernet port, and power delivery, plus the two HDMI ports that are ideal for connecting the main playfield and the back glass displays. We'll discuss that in a moment. But first, once you plug in the USB-C cable from the dock to the Ally, you may receive an indication that the adapter does not support full performance. I've left the Ally on for several days and it has remained fully charged during that time, but it's something I've noticed on all the docks that I own and I wanted to mention it. The dock also has a handy feature that allows you to plug the cable into the dock to make it easier to pack up in a case. One thing I didn't like is that the USB cable stands straight up and could possibly stress the connector on the Ally. For that reason, I picked up a two-pack of USB-C 90-degree adapters, which solved that problem. I also wanted a way to prop up the device to allow for proper airflow, and this little flip stand did the trick. Links to all of these items are in the video description below if you need them. From here, you can plug in a mouse, a keyboard, and the HDMI to an external monitor, which in our case will be the Legends Pinball Machine. Using this setup, we'll make all the installation and configuration needed for cabinet mode much easier before moving over to the Legends Pinball Machine. Let's discuss the cabinet mode setup. There is already a detailed guide and video for setting up Pinball FX in cabinet mode under Windows. You can find that guide at wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ALPFX. It will step you through the installation of Steam, Pinball FX, and how to connect a PC to the Legends Pinball. We're not going to rehash everything from that guide here, but rather supplement that guide with some additional details specific to the ROG Ally. Some time ago, I added a drawer below the bottom of the Legends Pinball at the back to allow plugging in a Steam Deck, or in this case, the ROG Ally, to the Legends Pinball. If you have a small table or desk nearby, you don't need a drawer. This was my own personal preference, and I'll have a link in the details of what I used if you're interested. We'll take the dock that we discussed earlier and plug it into the Ally. Additionally, we'll connect the power, the HDMI to the playfield, HDMI to the back glass, and the USB OTG cable to the Legends Pinball. That small folding stand is useful for making sure that the airflow to the Ally is unobstructed. The HDMI connection going from the back glass is connected to the second HDMI port on the dock. The Playfield HDMI is connected to HDMI 1, and the USB OTG connection is connected to the USB 2.0 port on the dock. From here, we can press the channel button to switch to OTG mode, which will switch the Playfield display to the Ally after selecting OK. You also need to press the Vib switch button for the back glass display to appear. And at this point, the Pinball FX guide describes the entire setup of both displays in more detail. Next, we'll discuss optimizations specific to the ROG Ally. There is also a dedicated guide for the ROG Ally, which I'll have linked in the video description below. This guide will go into more detail on the device itself and describe some use cases, such as the Ally Pinball FX settings we'll discuss here, in case you want to follow along. The written guide will have the latest information, and there may be optimizations added in the future as more is learned about the unit. 
After setting up Pinball FX in cabinet mode according to the Pinball FX guide, there are no changes we'll need to make under cabinet support, but let's quickly review. Under cabinet mode support, the settings for the dot matrix window should be set with a width of 723, a height of 167, horizontal position of 2530, and vertical position of 906. On the back glass display, you'll see a highlighted ring around the area that will display the DMD feed. Switching to the back glass window, it should show enabled, the width set for 1920, height to 1080, horizontal position to 1929, and vertical position to 11. Again, on the back glass, you'll see an outline around the edges of the back glass display. If you don't see this, then check the guide to make sure the displays are arranged properly and both displays are scaled to 100%. There are some changes to make under settings. For instance, select the video tab and the basic sub tab. The window mode will be full screen, orientation 270 degrees, resolution set to 1920 by 1080, which again is the same as on the Pinball FX guide. However, on the ROG Ally, we'll turn the switch for vertical sync to the on position. Then click the Advanced sub-tab, and change the Upscaler method to AMD FSR, Upscaler mode to Balanced, Anti-Aliasing method to FXAA, Anti-Aliasing quality to High, Frame rate limit to 60, Shadow quality to High, Post process quality to High, Motion blur amount to Off. Once all the changes have been made, Click the Confirm button. One final point, the guide discusses using a tool called XPatter to handle the button mapping. If you'll be using this tool, keep in mind the rectangles at the top indicate the connected controllers. One thing I found with the Ally is that I needed to assign the profile to the correct rectangle. This is documented, but just wanted to make you aware of it. At this point, we've made all the changes that are needed. In the next segment, I'll set up two cameras and we'll check out how the tables play in cabinet mode. Now we'll check out the Pinball FX gameplay on various tables on the ROG Ally in cabinet mode. I hope the information presented will be helpful to you. If so, please let me know by clicking the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'll remain quiet throughout the rest of this video so you can hear the audio clearly for each of the tables. I look forward to talking with you again very soon. sustains Hollow Earth, enabling life as powerful as the Titans. If we can contain this energy source, we'll have a weapon to fight back. We need Khan to lead us to it. That was unexpected. Get the extra bowl. This makes no sense, but we'll take it. Off you go. 
about the bounty. The Mandalorian arrived on Alvaro's set, and a local named Tulip helped him find the place he was looking for. But the Mandalorian was pursued. Found the bounty. Found the droid. I cheat you then. Stand down. 